Hey cutie, I thought I'd make a video and show how I color my grays and make them blonde. Here are my grays and you can see the yellow that I have used in the past. This is my gray pattern. The majority of my grays are in the front. I do have some in the back. And I have gotten a lot of compliments on my hair and asked how I do it. And I just tell people that I put, I put color on it. And this is the color I will be using. It's by Arctic Fox. And the color I use is Cosmic Sunshine. I have used other products. Here's one of them. This one did not hold up well. I much prefer to use the Arctic Fox because it's very pigmented and the color stays. It doesn't bleed. And this is the Arctic Fox that you can still see a hint of the yellow. I used, I used this Ex Mondo previously and the color was pretty, but it was very pale yellow. I used straight and it was very pale and it washed out completely in about two weeks. So if you're looking to only try it, maybe um, go with the X Mondo if you're not looking for something permanent, but I like the color to stay and that's why I choose the Arctic Fox because it does stick in my hair. So now the back is sectioned and the front is split in two. And I have changed my shirt to cover my shoulders because this stuff does stain. And I have this for the details and this to comb it through to make sure it's even. Now I just put it in my hair gloves. And I will leave this in my hair as long as I can. And I try to leave it at least two hours to about four hours. And I usually just smush it in. And I didn't put any Vaseline around my hair because sometimes I get the Vaseline in my hair and then that part of my hair doesn't color. So I'd rather just deal with the staining for a day or two. That's fine. It's yellow. It's not. It's no big deal. I don't mind. I really like to put it on thick and make sure all the hair is covered. And I am 46 years old, and that's why I have a bunch of grays. 
and I've used other colors and I like the pinks and the reds but I've been doing the yellow and I really like it looks like I put a money piece and it's my natural money piece so I'm very fortunate and blessed to have it looks so nice naturally and it is my mother's gray pattern she had all her grays in her front she didn't enjoy them too much and she complained a little bit but I've embraced it and I I think gray hair looks beautiful on women I've seen women with all gray hair it just looks nice stain my ears and that's okay like I said a day or two I'm fine no big deal and I have gone out and people ask me what's that on your ears oh that's my hair dye your hair dye it's yellow yeah see my blonde hair it's just color conditioning color big deal and then I just make sure to comb it through so that all the hair gets the color and the back I really enjoy this look and I love that I can do it at home and not have to go to the salon and make an appointment and work around someone else's schedule and just do it myself in the comfort of my own home in front of you lovely people And I think that's pretty good. Add some more and make it nice and thick, especially in my front where I want to cover the gray. Make it nice and thick. Because it does wash out, even the Arctic Fox does wash out and fade within like a couple of weeks, but it's still yellow. Still has a lot of the pigment, even though it's not as musty. Now, and then I went over it with the paintbrush looking brush, and I applied more around my roots and thickened it up. And then I put a bag over it. try my best to wipe off any yellow I got on my face because it, it does stain and to try to minimize the staining and then because I want it to stay warm I put on a beanie cap over this To help keep 
the heat from my scalp in my hair. I would also like to mention that I have read the reviews from other women who have tried to color their grays and they did not have success with these conditioning colors. And what I will say to that is they said that they left it for 20 minutes like the instruction says, but that's not enough time to penetrate the gray. In my experience, 20 minutes is not going to make a difference. It only left a tint when I did it in the pink. And as soon as I went for the full four hours, with the pink it stuck and it stayed in my hair and i was very happy with it so that's my best tip is if you want the color to stick and you want the color to stay and you want to see the color you're going to have to leave it on for multiple hours so now i will leave this on from anywhere from two to four hours and i will come back and i will show you what it's like when it's done Here is the finished look. The color is even and really cute. I really like it. I think it's so pretty. And it looks like I bleached it and did some color. And I didn't have to do any of that so easy and so fun and here's the finished look from behind and another thing about coloring my hair with the arctic fox is that my hair feels much more healthy and moisturized compared to before I put it on. You can tell the difference. It, looked, it was frizzy. It was just more dry looking. And now there's a shine in it. And it's a treatment while you accomplish a color. And I do go quite a while between dyeing it, between coloring it. I go sometimes about a month, six weeks even, and what I like about it is that it sort of just blends. This will fade into a platinum, and what you saw, the yellow at the edges is a very light platinum blonde, and it blends as it grows out because the color is fading. Instead of this bright yellow, it does not stay this yellow, it fades into a beautiful yellow. That's also another reason why I chose the yellow because I did used to use other colors and I still have it in the virgin pink amongst other colors in my drawer. And I really love the pinks and the bright colors and even a pastel pink that it fades into is really beautiful and I do recommend it. But the contrast between the outgrowth and the pink is more noticeable in my opinion and I just prefer how this looks when it grows out in the fade. It looks like a more natural. Because of the way that it's grown out with the fading, like an ombre, I do consider now more just going gray and letting it come out natural. And it's I'm becoming more comfortable with the idea of just letting it go gray because of the way that it has faded. So to recap, if you want bright, permanent-ish color, go with the Arctic Fox. But if you want it to fade quickly and you want it out of your hair, you want it just to slide right out of your hair really quick, go with the X Mondo. This, I used it and I only used it one time and by the next week it had faded into the Platinum Blonde, which I was used to like a month after this. And then it was like really silver, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with that, but this is, this is less maintenance for me. More maintenance, less maintenance. But if you want to just try it out and see what the color looks like and see how you do, then you don't want to, you don't want a commitment. You go with this one.
I will also make a follow-up video where I will show the fading of this color over time. And I will put that in a related video once I have that online. I hope you found this video useful. I also hope you enjoyed watching. I also create makeup and fashion videos. If you're interested in that, go ahead and click my page. Thanks also for sharing, liking, and subscribing. Go read and appreciate all your comments. Thanks so much. There's also links on my page where you can follow me on other social platforms. Thanks to you again, and I hope you have a beautiful day. See ya.